I recently took an online class through the International Center of Photography called Finding the Story with photographer Stephen Ferry. You can actually sign up for the same class and I'll put the link in the description below. It's gonna be offered in November. If you've never heard of Stephen Ferry before, he has worked for National Geographic Magazine, Time Magazine, The New York Times, many others, and has done a number of book projects. So he's got decades of experience and a wealth of knowledge about how to edit and sequence a photo project. Last week, I showed you the process that professional documentary photographers like Steven use to reduce a big stack of pictures from a project to just the selections you see on the wall behind me. This week, we're gonna take the next step, which is to turn all of these into a sequence that tells a story. Now, I'm personally very invested in this project being as good as it possibly can be, and not just because I spent over five weeks taking all of these pictures, and I'm still taking pictures for this project, but also because I want to make a zine out of this, and I want it to be something that I could be proud of and that will stand the test of time. So that being said, once we get to the end and I've shown you the sequence that we arrived at in class, I'm going to savagely critique my own work, and I'm going to rip down everything but the strongest pictures, and we're going to see what we have at the end of that process. This may not make sense to you if you haven't seen last week's video, but we're going to just quickly recap everything. So we have these establishing shots that take place in a rock quarry. We've got some photos of workers from a distance who work in the walk, rock, work in the walk, work in the rock quarry. We've got workers at a medium distance. We've got some safety related pictures of the workers. We've got the safety manual. We have some one <laughs> detail from the work itself. We take a look at the tourism. We take a look at some of the weird stuff that goes on in this setting. We take a look at this sculptor. We've got some portraits. We have some tourism from the city of Arequipa itself. We have um, just a look at kind of daily life taking place in the city. Finally, we just have some miscellaneous pictures that didn't quite fit into any of these categories. Deciding on an opener can be really difficult. You don't want to give too much away, but you want to pique the curiosity of your viewer. You also don't want to create the impression that the story is going to be about something other than what it is going to be about. And for that reason, you, know, you might not start with something like this, or something like this, or even this or this, because all of these create an impression the story might be about this guy in particular, or it might just be about tourism, or it might just create the impression that it's going to be about some kind of a pageant. So ultimately, we decided on this picture. It's vague enough to where it raises questions, but it does show the setting that sort of sets the stage for the rest of this project. So I'm gonna move this one over here to our sequence wall. You might think that something like this would be a good follow-up because this gets a little bit wider and it shows us more context. But I will tell you that uh, Stephen thought this would be, it would be too soon to put this as the second picture in the sequence. We're actually gonna jump over here to this guy. So this has the advantage of having that same wall that we saw in our opener, but um, also showing the statue and the sculptor here. So it's giving us a little bit more information about this place and what's going on, but it also is still kind of asking some questions. During class, we spent over two hours just on my images and I felt horribly guilty for, for you know, in front of all the other students because I took up so much class time. But uh, basically that means I can't show you everything about the process. Um, we, we experimented a lot, right? We have our, two, our first two pictures now. We tried a bunch of different things. We ended up putting these pictures all in the beginning. We're gonna take all of our sculpture pictures. So we ended up settling on this as being the next picture because we have the statue in the background here and that ties us in nicely with the previous pictures which were all about this sculptor and the statues that he was working on. And that's gonna tie us in to these dancers and that is going to segue us into our pageant. We're going to round out this section with our tourists taking selfies and our tour buses and start to segue into looking at the workers. So Stephen finally suggested that we use this establishing shot as a way to transition from showing all of these strange events and tourism to starting to look at this whole process of actually working with the stone. So next we're going to take this, this, and this. And you can see why this kind of follows, you know, we have 
chiseling away at the stone here, prying a stone loose, and then this giant stone falling. So having just seen the guy at the top of the cliff, it kind of makes sense to start looking at this situation with the safety. So we're gonna put our rocks with the stone. I was kind of surprised he wanted to keep this one in, but that's next. Then we've got these guys. With these and with this in particular, there was the feeling that they should be included in the sequence, but there wasn't a clear place to put them in. So they just ended up here. To me, that indicates they're probably gonna to need to come out later, but like I said, we'll look at that at the end. We're gonna look at this as a transition because you can see we have inside the guy's ranchito and then we have this other interior with the blocks of sillar. So that's gonna get us to our statue. And this statue with the worker is gonna help transition us back into the city. So you can see how this kind of bridges the gap. It would be hard to put this next to this because this is so dark and this is kind of bright, but by bridging the gap with this sort of intermediate and we have the statues and then getting to here, it just makes this transition flow a little bit better. So now that we're back in the city, we're gonna take a look at some of our kind of daily life around the sea yacht pictures again. We're gonna take our arm wrestlers followed up with our procession, our architectural detail. And last but not least, we're gonna use this as our closer because it kind of has this feeling of a conclusion with the people walking away, it's the end of the day. Uh, we have the lights in the distance. Now, before we go and take a look at that whole sequence, I'm just gonna take a quick look at what's left up on the wall here, and um, we'll, we'll talk about a couple of these. I'm still kind of partial to this. It didn't get included in class, but there's something about this that makes it stick with me. I'm gonna put this to the side and just hold on to it. Neither of these is an especially good picture, but from a storytelling point of view, I still feel like this might have a use so I'm gonna put this to the side with the other one. This is definitely out, but I like the, th the energy that it has with him breaking the rock, and this is just what they're doing down there all day long. So I need to go back and get a better picture of this activity, something that will be worth keeping in the sequence. This one and this one did not make it into the sequence. I kind of have something, I, I do like both of these still, I'm gonna put them to the side. They're probably not gonna ever be in, but they're kind of off in this purgatory, <laughs> photo purgatory. And these last couple, we'll just take them off. All right, now here we are with our final long awaited sequence. And then behind me over here is photo purgatory. We're not gonna really worry about that right now. But this is the moment you've all been waiting for where I'm going to ruthlessly savage my own work and rip down anything that I don't think is really, really good. This one, I mean, I really was proud of this at first, but I just, it doesn't. This one, coming out. This one, this one I really like, but I just can't get over the fact that the stupid camera is covering up the keyboard. The lighting on all of these sucks. This guy, I mean, I, I like the picture overall, but the devil is in the details. And when you look at this very closely, you can see there's this little block of something right there next to his face. The bus is out. This thing, shitty lighting. I like what this picture shows, but I don't think I was close enough to capture just the feeling of energy and the intensity. I need to go back. I need to find this scenario happening again. I need to get this with a telephoto lens. And I wanna get right in here really close so that I can see all of the rubble uh, contrasting against that shadow back in there. I don't know, I just don't particularly feel it's out. Out, 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 out. All right, so that's it. Now we've arrived at just 10 images, the 10 images that I feel the best about out of all these images that we've been looking at. Now, let me know in the comments what you think. Were there pictures that I took out that you think ought to be in here? Pictures up here that ought to come down? There's no longer an establishing shot or really like an opener. There isn't any kind of a real ending to it anymore. We don't have portraits. We don't have details of the work. There's a lot of things that we don't have. I have a little bit more time in Arequipa, Peru to try and get better shots of all of these things. And at the end of my time here, when I have what I have, 
you know, I could I could fill in with the new work, you know, as much as I can. And then if I if I haven't been able to get anything better than what I took out, then I can start bringing some of these back in. But the whole idea is to just push it as far as I can, make the best possible sequence that I can, and then to turn this later on into some kind of a zine. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you found this interesting. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and get subscribed and do all of that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.